Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be doing a video on my recent pickups. It's been quite a while, I'd say a little over two months, but um, yeah, I got a few stuff. Um, some things I got myself for Christmas and a few Funkos that a friend got me for Christmas as well. And speaking of which, I hope each and every one of you had a really great Christmas as well as a great um, New Year's. So, um... Uh, I'll start with the Funkos. I have a movie, two CDs, and the rest of them are games. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, let's start with the Funko. Now, this one I already have. My friend didn't know. I felt really bad that that I told him that I had it. But it's Liu Kang. Um, since I already have him, there's no point in opening him to show you guys up close. So, just let's stick him over here. <clears throat> Next we have Pork Chop from Doug. Now, I've seen the movie and I've seen a few episodes, but not too many. But uh I'll try to take them out for you guys so you can see him. Close. But <clears throat> yeah, there he is. So got him out the way. Let's get to the other one. The other one is Crash Bandicoot in with Scooby Gear. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still recovering from a cold. <clears throat> and, take him out. and you can see him up close. He's pretty heavy, but I think the one that's the heaviest that I own that's a Funko is the 8 bit Ryu that my f same friend who got me these got me as well. Like, that feels like a brick. No no joke, if you threw it at somebody, you probably might give him brain damage. It's, he's that heavy. Um, so now we're going to be getting into the other stuff, like the movies, games, and CDs. So first is uh, First Blood. I've watched 30 minutes of the movie before, a long time ago. But it was, rent, it was from the library, and it didn't work after like 30 minutes into the movie. I was even surprised that I made it to like 30 minutes. But I haven't watched it yet, but I will. For sure. Now the CDs. So we have Ghostface. Ghostface Killers, I think, debut album, but I could be wrong, so please correct me on that if I am. Um, debut album, Iron Man, featuring Raekwon and Capadonna. I haven't listened to it yet, but I will. Next is Ice Cube. Everything's corrupt. Not everything. Everything. He says it with a little bit of slang. I haven't listened to it yet. Again, <clears throat> this album came out in 2018. And if I'm correct, the last album that Ice Cube, Ice Cube did was I Am The West, which came out, I think, maybe early early 2010. Um, like maybe 2012 or 2013. I don't remember what date, but it was, it was a little bit since he had released an album. <clears throat> now the games. So... Next we have For Honor. I actually found this at Family Dollar for like five bucks, which is not bad. But it didn't come with the Legacy Battle Pack, which kind of sucks, but yeah, it's whatever. Um, I played it before at a friend's house for like maybe 20 minutes. I didn't really get too into the game because we were like playing a lot of other stuff. But now that I have the game, I'll be able to get better at it because right now I suck at the game. Uh, Red Faction. <clears throat> um... I have played this before, but I got stuck, and I just completely stopped playing the game. And I've seen it at the exchange for like, I think it was like five bucks, which isn't bad at all. And um, I would open For Honor, but, and you know what the hell with it, I'll just open it. Yeah, there's nothing included, the game's in the PS4 as well, so. Let me just sit that back. The Mark of Cree. I heard this game was good, and I never played it. The art, the, the the style of this game, the art style, reminds me a lot of Jack and Daxter, like the Precursor Legacy game. I haven't played Jack 2 or Jack 3, so I don't know how those played, but this reminds me a lot of the Jack and Daxter game. So, But it's pretty good. I like it. I only played maybe about 10 minutes because I was trying out all the other games, and it's complete. Next is Williams, or I'm sorry, Arcade's Greatest Hits. 
this has six games. It's a compilation, of course. And yeah, it's pretty good. Next is Arcade Party Pack. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, this one also has six games, and it's pretty good as well. I like it. It's funny because I wanted to get these and on eBay. Um, the Arcade's Greatest Hits. This one was like 15 bucks, and I only paid like four for it. Like four dollars, which isn't bad. This one I think was uh, I think it was like seven. Seven bucks? I don't remember the price. Jet Moto. I've wanted to get these games for a while, and I finally managed to get them. Uh, what was I going to say? They were made by the same people who did Twisted Metal, um, the company single track, before they, before they shut down. And, yeah, when I found out that they were made by the same people who did Twisted Metal, I knew I had to get these. So, I... I didn't play much of this, I because I was like trying to play each game like really fast because I had to go into work. Like, I, I guess you can call that. I'm putting quotations there because it's technically not work. It's just like something to hold me off until I get a full time job, which I hope will be Friday. Um, I'll talk about that later on. But yeah, um, it's it's cool. I like I said, I only played maybe like not even ten minutes. Because I was just trying to get, I was trying to rush through each game and play them and see if they were, if they worked. Next is Jet Moto 2. They didn't have the third one, so I don't have that one. But at first I was, I was just going to get the first game. But then I was, I was thinking about it while I was looking around. And I was like, you know what the hell with it, I'll just get it. I'll get Jet Moto 2 as well. And yeah. Next is Call of Duty Modern Warfare, or Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. This is the Gaudi edition. I have Modern Warfare 3, but I didn't have the first two. That, that's that's practically sacrilegious to not have the first Modern Warfare, but you have Modern Warfare 3. So I decided to get it. It was only 5 bucks, which isn't bad at all. And I played the game, I played through the campaign once, and I don't remember anything about it. So playing this again is kind of a new experience, I guess you can say. Even though I played it, I don't. I just don't remember what the hell happened in the story. But <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two. Of course, I have this one. I needed to get it. You know, if I was gonna get the first, I might as well get the second. So. And again, I don't remember what happens in this. I know that Ghost gets killed. That I do know. So. But yeah. <clears throat> next is ragnarok odyssey never heard of this game before and i read i looked up on the game and find out that it was released originally on ps vita the first game this is i guess you can say the second game so yeah it was the first game was only on vita the second one which is this one was released on vita as well as ps3 and i did not get far in this. I literally just stayed where I was. I talked to everybody. I was playing it one night and I was just so tired. I just said, to hell with it. I'll just play it tomorrow. But I, I still haven't. Yeah, complete with a ridiculously thick manual. It's actually in color too. Remember back when manuals had color and games had manuals? Now they are non-existent, which sucks. Uh, SSX. I played the first one, but I have... I remember playing the first SSX game on PS2. But I don't remember if I liked it or not. But this one isn't actually bad at all. It's actually pretty good. It's... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it came with some... Uh, the Art of Flight. Uh, and an online pass. And... Advertisements for FIFA Street and Grand Slam Tennis 2. And the last game is The Lord of the Rings Conquest. Now, for those of you who've played the original Battlefront games, you know, the ones on PS2 and Xbox, think of that, but with a Lord of the Rings skin. This is pretty much the... This is basically Star Wars Battlefront 2's... Oh, let me better rephrase it. 
this is the Star Wars Battlefront game for Lord of the Rings. It it plays differently, but it's similar because it's made by the same people who did the Star Wars Battlefront game, so it's really, really good. I only played about 10 minutes of it, and I still haven't gotten around to it because I've been playing Modern Warfare and a few other games. I don't remember. Um, I was starting, I was getting back into Final Fantasy XIII, but this is really, really good, and I can't wait to really, like, dive into the game and play it, like, fully, because there is a campaign. I even tried to see if there was online, but, yeah, the online servers are completely shut down for this, which kind of sucks, because it would be cool if they still kept the servers open, you know, like, I mean, Modern Warfare still has lobbies, which is crazy, and it still has people playing it, so, but, yeah. Um, really, really, really good game, like I said. It's pretty good. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much everything. Now, about a job. I went today for an interview at, at the store, the exchange, where I would go and buy a lot of my games. And I will be getting a call Friday saying if I got the job or not, so fingers crossed. And before I go, over 300 subscribers. Holy shit. I never thought I would ever say that. I mean, I didn't think I would ever even say 100 because I never thought I would ever make it to 100 subscribers. But the fact that I made it to 300 is nuts. Um, I want to thank, seriously, thank all of you guys. You guys are great. Um... I want to do something special because I wanted to do something for the 200 subscriber mark, but I didn't. So, if you guys want, I'm going to try to see if I can live stream. Like, if you guys want me to live stream, I'll try and see if I can. And if I am able to, I will live stream for a few hours and you guys will, and you guys can have me play a certain game that you want me to play. Anything, anything and, and everything I own. So, if you don't know what I have, just look at my previous collection videos, um, like for 2019. The 2019 ones are the most recent, and like from there on, whatever pickups video I've done, those are the games that I also have. So, if there's a game that you want me to particularly play, I will play it for however long you want me to, and I'll change it if you guys want me to. I don't know, but I want to do something something like that for this this 300 subscriber mark. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Have a good day. Most importantly, stay safe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.